Welcome to the garden for this tutorial on drip irrigation. Drip irrigation is an area that a lot of people, I think, have a lot of bad experiences. You know, drip systems that spring up leaks all over the place and they, they have difficulty getting it dialed in on really how to get the best results out of their garden with proper watering techniques. So I'm excited to talk to you today about Netafim drip tubing because it far surpasses every other type of drip line I've ever used. And I've, I've used everything I can find. You know, the quarter inch micro tubing with the built-in emitters, soaker hose type tubing, individual emitters throughout the garden bed. Sometimes they can be little bubblers or sprayers. And none of those methods are really good enough for me. I wanna see really good, even watering throughout an entire garden bed. And none of these other things really do it, or they'll work pretty well at first, but then they get clogged up pretty quickly, especially with our really mineral rich water Water that we have here. I've been so happy to have found a product that really holds up for a long time and uh, is consistent in how it puts water throughout the garden bed. So this stuff, this Netafim drip tubing, is a very UV resistant tubing, first of all. So it's gonna hold up really well in the sun. It also has built-in emitters. So everywhere that you see one of these little holes, water is gonna be coming out there, but there's an actual emitter that's built into the tubing there. And that emitter is pressure compensating. And that's really important. Pressure compensation makes sure that every single one of those emitters is gonna put out the same amount of water. And that's very important for making sure you have good uniformity of moisture throughout the entire garden bed. You know, I don't wanna see the beginning part of the garden bed really wet and the end super dry, because then I have to water longer to make sure that the end isn't too dry and I waste water at that early part of the garden bed. So, you know, those things are really frustrating to me when I'm trying to get really good consistent gardening results. I'll have some links in the description for you so you can find all these different products and tools and keep in mind we can also make kits for you of this so you can let us know the size garden bed that you have and we can put together exactly what you need for that if you want to just make it really easy to plug it into your irrigation system. I've introduced you to the drip tubing that we're using in this garden, and we're also using another irrigation method that I wanna to talk to you about. When you're watching this video, you're gonna notice these buried here in the soil. So let me tell you a little bit more about them. The lid here is covering about a two and a half gallon clay vessel. This is called an irrigation oya. It's a very porous clay, and when you fill it with water, it slowly seeps that water out into the soil. It's actually an ancient irrigation technique that's been in use for thousands of years, and we've added this modern little twist to it that allows you to hook it up to your irrigation system. You know, if you're gonna be out of town, being around to fill a vessel like this might not be really a good option. So I really wanted that to be automated. With this auto fill lid, it has a float device on it, you can use this quarter inch micro tubing and hook it into your irrigation lines. And so when the irrigation system turns on, it will also fill up these Oyas. Some of our customers use just the irrigation Oyas and in the right soil conditions, that can actually work really well. I do actually prefer to use both drip lines on the surface as well as the irrigation oyas. And what that does is it allows us to water from the surface. It gives us a good opportunity to leach out salt that can build up into the soil whenever we water. And then also we have this reservoir in the soil that is filling up with water. And you know, in some places where you have water restrictions on how often you can water, this can make a really big difference because you actually have some water being stored in the soil that is then seeping out into the soil. These are actually quite efficient and using these irrigation oyas will reduce the amount of water that you're using overall by quite a lot. Some of the estimates are as much as 80% reduction on your water use. So in combination, using both of these things I think is really ideal. Um, if you're a beginner gardener and you're working with really dry soil conditions, you may want to start with just the drip tubing. Um, but you know, you do have options there. And so I'm happy to teach you about both of them. I'm gonna go over to the other end of the garden bed here where we're gonna be hooking in our drip line and we'll start talking about all of the different parts that you're gonna need. 